right here it is the uh, Bowser costume in full glory <laughs> oh I also forgot that slides it's been a while since I've worn this one actually <laughs> I think it's been about ooh, maybe about four about four years since I last actually worn this one I've had it uh, in storage for quite some time <laughs> but uh, yep here it is in full glory uh, I forgot that um, I, I forgot that it's a bit uh, a bit baggy with the legs for me <laughs> it's kind of uh, it's of course meant to be like a standard adult size but of course um, I'm a bit, a bit too small so uh, it's a bit baggy for me <laughs> it's like I have quite a bit of room <laughs> up and down but anyways yes this is the Belgian costume you got like a little headpiece like I said oh wait oh I didn't make sure it's I should have done this after oh, I think it's gonna also I'm recording this with a hoodie underneath and I think that was probably a bad decision for this recording <laughs> whatever I'm gonna go with it it is a bit cold outside and in my room so um yeah um also i will have to say now and i might say this one more time in my future videos um my tripod is a bit it, the uh, bubble thing with the measurement to lever it out properly um seems to be broken now <laughs> it's just stuck it doesn't move anymore um i don't know exactly when that happened but it must have happened well since I last time did a recording video you know YouTube video <laughs> so sorry if it's unbalanced I'm gonna have to figure out um, either get a new one or just try and make what do you know anyway I haven't done the whole roundabout there you go got the uh, got the inflatable shell got, got the tail actually use the tail I could just a bit so. Uh, just about <laughs> the, tail, the, tail. <laughs> the tail is actually quite large as you can see it's like quite pokey out <laughs> it's even it's not it's not even the size of my hand it's like bigger than my hand one and a half size uh, uh, but yeah this costume um, this costume is quite comfortable um, it's it's quite actually a bit thin as well so you can wear clothes and this perfectly fine because it's thin enough the only bits that are not thin are, are like you know the cuffs that bit and of course you know the head bit is of course a bit padded and thick oh and of course the tail <laughs> not to min not to forget about the tail <laughs> Uh, the one thing I wish they did add in this kind of um, official Bowser costume uh, from Nintendo is that they, I feel like they should have added maybe just one, like, you know, one pair of foot cuff, cuffs for the bottom bit. Because basically, uh, when it gets to the legs, that's it. it that's, that's all the detail they do. <laughs> and, you know, underneath the tail and, as you know, the... Uh, belly bit that's it <laughs> that's that's all they do with details after that but all the other bits up here of course as you can tell a bit more detail and you know little bits to of course you know portray Bowser in a great way mm. Oh, and if you want to not have the um, the, the head of it, <laughs> if you don't want, if you don't, actually I might have been too low for that, but hey, if you don't want the uh, head, you could always have the plastic mask, which I probably will have a small review um, in the future. But uh, I took it out because I thought, oh wait, I've written it down as I'm going to do the Bowser costume today, and then I was like, uh, am I separating the mask? And apparently I have decided I have in the past, so 
I'm just going to stick with that. <laughs> so I'll review that in the I'll review that in the future. Probably, maybe actually, it might be next year. But hey, I will still review them in the future. A quick little review. Right now we're on to the costume detail part of the review. As you can see, I've already set up the head on the little well styrofoam head i still feel like i need to get some more because basically i have to keep taking off a mask that i display with this <laughs> to do these reviews so yeah i probably should get another one but anyways here it is but so so first of all um you may have noticed some of it is padded some of it is not um and that's a recurring theme with this is like it's a bit padded in some places some bits it's not it's it's of course you know trying to make sure that um all the areas are of course shaped as bowser as they can be you got the you got the face very well done with the nose and like cheeks being the of course you know padded you got the horns that are slightly padded too they're not too padded but it's just enough <laughs> you got the you got the orange ring around the horns as well you've got the well oh uh, i think the style has changed again i think but um if i'm not mistaken i'm not a big nintendo fan so i may get this wrong i will admit um but like the 2000 maybe like 10 to um about 18 you also got you also got the eyebrows which um i will admit i feel like they need to be more like stuck on because as you can see they're like only attached like here and both of them do that as well you only get six teeth with bowser um two at the bottom and two on each side of the cheeks you got this great color design even though i think it could be a bit improved but i guess they didn't want to put too much cost into it uh but yeah you got these little shape cones um around the collar to of course you know have a spike collar which i think i think worked quite quite well um <laughs> some of it is a bit like some of it sometimes it doesn't really look as great like um i don't know i guess something happened but basically the uh, little design that they have kind of some mostly works <laughs> So it's not that bad and that's coming undone might as well you can kind of see the design not so sure if you can <laughs> i will zoom it in all right but yeah with this with the bowser costume they also use quite a bit of uh, velcro so yeah they do velcro for the neck to put the headpiece around and ugh, uh wrong way and a bit of struggle. <laughs> there was probably a jump cut there. Uh, here we go. Oh wait, yeah. These are also hard to see as well. But they've also got these circular. Oops, don't want to destroy that. <laughs> uh, you got these circular padding uh, Velcro bits, which are a bit annoying to basically attach. <laughs> but um, once you do, it's fine. But yeah, it's like a bit like a small circle side what's kind of size of my like you know my nail my thumbnail and with the body piece i they they did these like little strips of fabric which of course are meant to like symbolize the scaly belly bit of bowser <laughs> which i think really really works and i think maybe maybe someone making like a um like a lizard or um maybe like someone making like a lizard or like a gecko or maybe something like this or maybe even just a dragon i suppose <laughs> this little detail really helps um the design of like stand out that hey i'm a scaly creature you know but yeah so it really so it really really helps once again another padded piece that they've added which is the tail and it is actually kind of heavy <laughs> Um, it's not as light as the headpiece on you. This is a bit thick, and so it's got a bit of weight to it. Now it is time to quickly talk about the inflatable shell. Actually, hold on, I'll move that out of the way. Uh, 
but yeah but yes here is the inflatable shell which i i quite really like you got two chambers with this inflatable you got the first chamber which is a bit hard and is of course the main that does the green shells and the spikes and then the second chamber is of course you know like the ring around the shell which is very quick to inflate it just takes like 20 seconds for the ring <laughs> or even less actually to be honest it's like about 10 seconds and then even though even though as you can see mine is not exactly fully inflated with a pump i'm pretty sure you can do both um quite well but doing it by mouth it is a it is quite a bit difficult and i do have a pump but i couldn't find it <laughs> even for this review so it's like ah, uh, i tried looking for it i couldn't find it but i do have a uh, a, um, a foot pump <laughs> but I couldn't find it once again even though mine looks a bit ruined because it's like I've used it a couple of times and so it's showing its age I suppose you know how many times I've done it um, but yeah once again velcro and I don't like to take it off so I won't show you but it is a bit of a medium square so it's not it's much more bigger than the um, the bodysuit little velcro and definitely bigger than the headpiece but um, so yeah, it's very very easy to attach and detach for this one because it's got a bigger strip of velcro to be attached. Another addition that I really like of this is well, got this elastic band right, but they put in the effort to make sure that just around at the bit where it would be probably the most tightest and stretched and stretched, they've added this like they've added another bit of like PVC, um, just like the inflatable. Um, just around here, just around on the end of each of the, of the ends. It is time to go into the pros and cons of this Bowser costume. The pros to this costume, it is very comfortable. Um, and plus that it's quite light, like I said it's, uh, it's very thin with its material. With only the belly and like I said the headpiece and the tail only being the only areas where it's a bit thick where it's a bit more thicker in its material but overall it's still quite comfortable to wear the design that it's also based off is so well done as well it is very 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 on point to what you see in the game this costume also gives you a great vibe of you being bowser as the tail and shell really help um in that regard and also the first time i all this I kept bumping the tail <laughs> it actually helped me become more aware of my surroundings and costumes so thanks to this costume I bet I can get into like a real life mascot suit and not hit anyone in the face due to the better surrounding skills that this particular costume has given me because trust me I kept bumping the tail in the shell against my walls and doors and furniture but now now I don't and I don't really do that with many costumes anymore either I think so yeah this this costume gave me a quite a nice little costume skill now the cons of this costume it is hard to close a bodysuit with a small circle velcro by yourself like I pointed out of course if you have someone with you easy to course close it of course but doing it yourself it is a bit of a struggle because <laughs> like I said these little velcro circles are small the spike cuffs being designed is a bit too big for people's wrists so it can slide off a fair bit um, even more so if you wear your arms um, way too much it's like surely it will eventually it will eventually get to your fingers and almost try to come off or even do come off depending on well size of your hands I guess as well and now my verdict of this costume has to be a 9 out of 10 now I don't know if they're gonna like take this costume down because of course the, the new Mario movie is of course gonna come out you know the animated one and so they may take down the costume and then maybe make a more expensive design one you know like remastered this whole costume or something like that or they may just be lazy and keep selling this even longer than they have because trust me this costume came out a couple of years ago and it's still getting sold now and it, it seems like it's not going anytime soon yet but uh like i said the movie might the movie might change that so if you want to buy this one you might want to buy it before the movie just in case they do take it away uh, and maybe make a more expensive one but I, I will be looking out if they're gonna like do that kind of thing because you know, I'm interested I'm like hmm are they gonna make a new Bowser costume to reflect the new movie um, and all that but we'll see 
So yes, we have now reviewed the official Nintendo Bowser costume. And this is also the biggest promotional art cardboard I've also gotten in my collection of collecting costumes as well. It's like, Nintendo really wanted to outshine everyone, like, oh, they're making this kind of size promotional art in their, cup, in their costume bags to be delivered to the customers. Let's go bigger. <laughs> and they did. But anyways, that is going to be the end of this costume review. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's not too long, like, to be honest, this costume doesn't have too much noticeable features and all that such. It's like a bunch of Velcro, a bit of this. Try to show as much as I can. But, um, yeah, it's, it is still quite a very, very good costume. And even though mine has managed to get some damage now because I've worn it so many times in the past it's like yeah <laughs> yeah I probably might need a replacement or try to fix it up but hey it's lasted me for a couple years because this is like around 2000 and this was starting to get sold around 2015 or 16 or somewhere around there um so it's not super super old but hey it just shows how much how much time I've like getting in and out of some costumes I suppose because yeah like I said I've gotten quite some wear and tear damage now so yeah thank you for watching my video hope to see you in whatever video that may be and be sure to join my discord server or maybe even join me on my twitch streams where i stream video games that you know i used to do for youtube as well i suppose but hey it's now just on twitch now that's where i do my games now <laughs> hope you've enjoyed and goodbye